I reacquainted myself with the bike when I was 35. I weighed 240 pounds. I smoked four packs of cigarettes a day, and I was a large beer drinker. Come home, first thing I'd do is open the beer. And at 35, I said, enough. So the first thing I did was stop smoking. Second thing, I quit drinking. And then the third thing, I got the bicycle, an entry-level bike. I think I paid $300 for it. And I've never stopped riding the bike. I do drink wine now, though. I can do this forever. <laughs> my name is Roger Kennedy, retired. I came down here at my wife's suggestion in 2000. Loved it. Okay, I'm ready, guys. I kept doing this and eventually bought this home in 2005. I said, enough. Oh, good morning, everybody. How's everybody? Hello, Ann. How you doing? Now I'm a, a full-fledged snowbird. Okay, let's roll out of here. If I had only one place to live, this is where it'd be. I discovered the loop many years ago, riding uh, my bike, and it was just a path near the house. And over the years, it has expanded to this extraordinary facility that everybody in the city can avail themselves. Not only bicyclists, but walkers, runners, it's a gym. This is an extraordinary cycling community. There's cyclists everywhere, and I have met many of them and made good friends with them. I ride never less than 200 miles a week, uh, many weeks over 250, 275. My annual is usually over 7,000. It's my meditation. I get out there on a nice sunny day like today, calm, no winds, and you hear those wheels rolling over the pavement and there's a hum to it and you're just kind of in a zone, you're kind of zen. And my mind just kind of empties and I unload all whatever worries I might have. They leave them out there on the trail. That's why I get up in the morning really is to ride the bike. This is unlike anything in the country. No other city has this. Welcome to the In The Loop celebrations, now complete at 131 miles. Well, we have some great trails in Iowa. The rails to trails is a big thing up there, but I don't think we have anything that can quite uh, compare to the loop. It's a little wider, a little nicer, a little more scenic than just the old railroad tracks that are just mostly straight with very few curves. So we really enjoy this uh, a lot better, I think, even than we do in Iowa. Hey, how are you? I'm a long distance hiker and I've walked uh, 10 long trails in eight different cities and I just completed walking the loop. It's amazing. This is kind of the envy of every city, this trail system, to have something that's completed, non-motorized, don't have to fight cars, uh, lots of clean restrooms along the way. It's really a treat to walk this trail. Oh man, I've been skating for a good 18 years, starting off over at River La Cañada. But I've pretty much gone as far as like Craycroft from Campbell. Here I go all the way to Spectrum, Camino del Oeste. Just enjoy the beautiful sunshine. <laughs> and there is so much nature. I see so many coyotes, javelinas. I've run into snakes across the path, horses up and down the river. It's just a lot of natural desert. We walk every day at Fort Lowell Park and we've been watching the construction over the past year or so and wondering how they were going to get it all done. But in early January, we realized it was open all the way through. I started more seriously bicycling about uh, six months ago because of arthritis in my knee. And this is the perfect opportunity to ride away from traffic because I, I won't ride in traffic.
I live at Tangerine and uh, First Avenue. From my house, it takes less than 10 minutes to get to the trailhead for the CDO path, which is the Kenyatta del Oro wash to Santa Cruz, Santa Cruz straight south to downtown and Mercado. Cyclists go there all the time. I mean, on a Saturday or a Sunday, you can't get food there because there's so many people there, but it's a great place to go. 24 miles one way, easy spin, just all downhill going, a little bit uphill coming back. You're hoping for a tailwind. Take care, guys, thank you. I mean, I see guys and gals that are well into their 80s out there. They just don't go as fast as they used to. They can't climb quite as well as they used to, but they still get kitted up. They still get on the bike. They still go out and ride. How long am I gonna be on it? Until my wife buries me. 